So here we are at Asian American and Pacific Islander Leadership Summit, and uh, here uh, the gentleman next to me is Mr. Jiang Yang. And so, give us a brief introduction about yourself. Sure. Uh, so my name is John Yang. I am the Executive Director of Asian Americans Advancing Justice (AAJC), which is based here in Washington D.C. We are a civil rights organization that focuses on hate crimes, a voter of uh, uh, voter rights, uh, discrimination of various types, and census and immigration issues. It's wonderful. When did you when did you started to get involved in the civic engagement? Probably since I was a young lawyer, uh, so I have. You been, are still young. <laughs> uh, I, I've actually been practicing law for over 25 years at this point, uh, and so part of civic engagement has always been part of who I am, and whether that is voter registration, whether that is political involvement, I just think it's important for Asian Americans to be involved. So you mentioned about who you are. I think we all here in the United States as an immigrant and uh, ask, asking this question about who we are, what we stand for, then I'm asking you, the, you this question. In terms of who we are and what we stand for, I mean, I think we all stand for a better America. I think all of us came here or our parents came here because we saw you know, what a good country this can be and sort of the opportunities that this country presented. And I think all of us want to make it an even better one. So why do you think this is so important for uh, all Americans, all the immigrants? Well, it's important because you know, America has always been made by immigrants. Uh, and there are immigrants from all sorts of different countries. And now Asian Americans, and especially Chinese Americans, are the, one of the fastest growing demographics. If you look at the number of people that have come to the United States over the last few years, Asian Americans is the, the, the fastest growing minority community. And so as a growing minority community, we also need to make sure that our voices are heard and people know what issues we care about, people know sort of what we care about and, and to exercise that voice in different ways. You, you just talk about uh, our voice be heard. So what is our voice? Well, I think it, it, it depends. I mean, I think that's what's interesting about Asian Americans in particular is that our voice is a lot of different voices because that definition of Asian American involves a number of different groups. But I, I think one thing that characterizes it is we are immigrants. Uh, we come from sort of a, a rich history. And, you know, I think, although maybe it's a stereotype, but generally sort of the people that are coming here are very hardworking people that want to create a better life for themselves. You know, yeah, but in that way, it, it's similar to all Americans. They just want to build to, to make it better. Okay, so what do you see in the next maybe 10 or 20 years this society should be? I, I would hope that it becomes even more inclusive. Right? Certainly, you know, the United States has always benefited from being what we would call a melting pot. Obviously, at times we have our struggles in terms of how different races get along, sort of how we talk to each other. But, you know, certainly by about 2050, if I remember my statistics correctly, minority communities will actually become the majority. There will be no dominant race or ethnicity. And so for me, it's just about making sure that all of us talk to each other in a way that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.